Taiwan's attempts to reform its railway system have hit another hitch. This time, Taiwan Railway Union members are objecting to two newly installed board members who have records of misconduct. The government is changing how Taiwan Railways administration operates, restructuring it so it works more like a corporation. And this involves creating a new 15-member board with representatives from the labor union. But the union's members say the process needs to be more transparent. And they are highlighting another issue, a severe labor shortage. The staffing crunch has put extra pressure on the railway system. Last year alone, there were 661 accidents. The government says the restructuring will improve safety and bring in more revenue. The railway network has been piling up debts for decades. But it wasn't until a deadly accident two years ago that the authorities started looking into the issues that often arose due to systematic failures. But union leaders don't feel that corporatization is the answer to the TRA's troubles. We have seen many examples of Trains are a popular form of transport, and the changes to Taiwan's rail system are being closely watched by the public. Last year, the TRA recorded an average of more than 460,000 travelers daily. The reforms are meant to assure the safety of travelers, but many are concerned about how effective they will actually be. The government hopes to complete the transformation of the rail system by January, but with little consensus from both the workers and the decision makers, getting the TRA back on track will be an uphill battle. Jiang Su and Yu Jinghuang for Taiwan Plus.